Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today we will discuss about the basic concepts or fundamental concepts required for noise analysis. We have two types of signals. One is deterministic signal. and a random signal deterministic signal is a signal whose amplitude whose amplitude can be found at at a particular time instant whose amplitude can be found at a particular time instant time instant using some mathematical formula on the other hand this random signal we cannot determine its amplitude at particular time instant at a particular time instant so it's like it it is like it is sin t and for random you don't have any such expression any mathematical expression to get the amplitude at the particular time instant t so how do we proceed analysis of this kind of random signals or random processes for this how we measure the power of this deterministic signal the power is given by suppose it is an voltage signal then it is v square of t by r if it is so in in a time period after this time period it will repeat so power is given average power is given by 1 by t integral minus t by 2 to t by 2 uh, if it is an voltage signal it is v square of t by r dt if it is a current signal it is 1 by t integral minus t by 2 to t by 2 i square of t dt into r if i consider r equal to 1 then it is normalized power normalized average power so in the same way if i want to get power of this random signal uh, then let this signal is x of t and I need to calculate the power in x square of t so now uh, time period we cannot determine so let's take the time period is from minus t by 2 to t by 2 and to get the average it is 1 divided by 1 by t but what is the time period so we need to measure up to infinity so it takes limit t tends to infinity for getting average noise power or average random no, noise is an unwanted signal which is random which cannot be predicted which cannot be determined so what we are doing in this we are multiplying the signal with the signal itself so to get the properties to get the properties of this signal we won't multiply the signal with the signal itself we multiply the signal at this instant with some other instant of this signal which we term as autocorrelation autocorrelation is important in noise analysis so how we define it Autocorrelation is a power which is in terms of tau which is given by the same limit t tends to infinity 1 by t integral 
माइनस टी बाई टू टू टी बाई टू और एक्स ऑफ टी इंटू आर एक्स ऑफ टी प्लस टू डी टी ठीक एक्स ऑफ टी एक्स ऑफ टी प्लस टू डी टू दी नॉइस सिग्नल्स वी एनालाइज इन टर्म्स ऑफ पावर रेदर देन इन एम्पलीट्यूड्स इट विल बी ईजी टू डिस्कस और एनालाइज दिस पावर सिग्नल्स इन फ्रीक्वेंसी डोमेन इन फ्रीक्वेंसी डोमेन सो वी डिफाइन ए टर्म कॉल्ड स्पेक्ट्रम और पावर स्पेक्ट्रल डेंसिटी which is defined as suppose a signal is there a signal source which is passed through a filter of one edge bandwidth and you get some signal some signal we get we get some signal and we find the power of this signal by using this so this we the center frequency is f the bandwidth is a uh, one one hedge and then this if you plot the power this will be some value and then we shift then we shift this f and we take the bandwidth of 1 mega one edge and we shift this signal and filter and then we find another power and then another power if you Draw a line covering all these points. Then this is defined as your power spectral density. Power spectral density. So this is main thing we use in our analysis of noise. And we have a mathematical relation between this power spectral density. and auto correlation that is these two are fourier transform pairs transform pairs that means the power spectral density we generally denote it with s of f and auto correlation we generally uh, define it with rx of tau so these two are fourier transform pairs the fourier transform of auto correlation function is your power spectral density and that means the power spectral density is given by integral minus infinity to infinity आर एक्स ऑफ टव ई टू द पवर माइनस जे टू पै एफ टी डी टी अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉपर्टी इज वेल पासिंग ए सिग्नल थ्रू एन एल टी आई सिस्टम एल टी आई सिस्टम सो वाइल पासिंग ए सिग्नल थ्रू एन एल टी आई सिस्टम we know if input is x of t output is y of t the impulse response is h of t and if it is in frequency domain input is x of f output is y of f transfer function is h of f 
so the relation is like y of t is x of t convolution with h of t and y of f is multiplication of transfer function into input spectrum so what about these for power are random signals so we have autocorrelation and we have power spectral density so we will have some autocorrelation of output and we will have some power spectral density r y of tau so we have some power spectral density at output so how these two are correlated we know rx we have some autocorrelation has one integration and convolving that in uh, autocorrelation with this with this uh, with this impulse pulse you will get autocorrelation of output so r y of tau is so changing the order of that integration you will get r y of t tau as r x of tau convolved with h of tau h of t convolved with h of minus t in the same way if you write for power spectral density in terms of power spectral density s y of f s is s x of f into h of f into h conjugate of f so finally we will treat in terms of powers so power spectral density of output is power spectral density of input into transfer function square these are the basic concepts which are helpful in doing random signal analysis or noise analysis for more such crisp concepts please subscribe to my channel we will come with more noise analysis videos if you like the video please like it uh, share with your friends and press the bell icon to get the notifications into your mobile